how can these postbiotics in turn give us more energy? These postbiotics uh, literally are a communication system between our gut microbiome, our gut buddies as I call them, and our mitochondria. And they're actually, believe it or not, they're sisters. And like all good sisters, they talk to each other. And what's been discovered, and even the Nobel Prize for Medicine was won for this discovery, these actually tell mitochondria to make more energy. And in turn, that influences our hormone levels, our mood, our appetite, our anxiety, our sleep quality, even our weight, all because of postbiotics. So what do we need to eat to make sure that our gut's getting is making more postbiotics? Great question. Yeah. Uh, so we got to have more prebiotic fiber. The chicory family is really number one. Uh, that's like uh, radicchio, the red Italian lettuce that's in most stores now, Belgian endive, for instance. Sunchokes, there's Belgian endive right now. Sunchokes, those are sometimes called Jerusalem artichokes. Asparagus, leeks, onions, sweet potatoes, and yams. These are all great sources of prebiotic fiber that allow your gut buddies to make postbiotics and turbocharge your energy. And you also want us to embrace uh, what exercise snacking for more energy. W what do you mean when you say exercise snacking? Most people are under the mistaken impression that we've got to go exercise 30, 45 minutes a day for you know perfect health. We got to walk 10,000 mm -hmm. steps. That's actually not true. The 10,000 step rule was invented by a Japanese pedometer company to sell pedometers. There's actually no truth in it. But what's been found is that if we break exercise sessions into smaller bites, as little as, for instance, one minute walking up and down the stairs is as good as taking a 10 minute walk. If you're brushing your teeth, do deep knee bends while you're brushing your teeth. Do squats. You've got a couple minutes every day. So these exercise snacks do several important things. They actually cut our hunger. They stop our appetite. And so many of us now are snacking because of boredom more than anything because of COVID. The second thing that happens is we now know that exercise muscles make really interesting hormones they're called myokines that tell your mitochondria to make more energy. So it's a win-win. Little bits of exercise make more energy. So I should do squats while I'm brushing my teeth. I mean, up Please and down do it. with yeah. the teeth do and up and down. Squats when you're squats. delivering a yeah. baby. Yes. Just don't drop, yes. don't drop the baby. Yeah, don't drop the baby. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got to squat. They're going to be saying push, and I'm squatting, and push, and squat. Yeah. I think that's great. In yeah. fact, I want, you to, I want you to send me a video of that. It's going to be fantastic. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Absolutely. Dr. Gundry, <laughs> thanks so much for sharing and being with us today. Great information. Yeah, thank you. And be sure to check out Dr. Stephen Gundry's new book, The Energy Paradox.